Did you know that if you try to print money on your computer right now, you could go to jail for 20 years? But if a bank does it, it's not only legal, but encouraged by the government. And that's because of something called fractional reserve banking, which allows banks to make billions printing money out of thin air. Step one, you deposit your $10,000 check to the bank for safekeeping. Step number two, the bank only has to keep a fraction of your money in the vault for safekeeping, let's say 10%. So they're incentivized to lend out the $9,000, let's say to another person to earn interest on that money. Step number three, the other person now deposits that $9,000 into the bank for safekeeping. Now you have have your nine thousand dollars that you can withdraw right now and the other person also has their nine thousand dollars that they can withdraw right now all of a sudden that money went from nine thousand dollars to eighteen thousand dollars all out of thin air and the bank doesn't want to keep that nine thousand dollars locked away that money could be earning interest for them so the bank lends out ninety percent of the other person's money as well this is how banks turn your ten thousand dollars into twenty thousand dollars one hundred dollars when there's only ten thousand dollars available while collecting interest on it but wait what if everyone wants their money back at the same time there's not enough money to go around this kind of sounds like a ponzi scheme 